Well, hello there. I'm Ranger Cookie. And I'm out here back at the POW Park. And I'm going, I'm here to remake my trash video. How to survive on trash, basically. This time the camera's not going to be shaky. There's no hat that's going to be in the way. So I'm going to remake my trash video, surviving on trash video. So let's go out and find some trash. All right, let's see. I see some trash over here. Basically, I'm going to try to survive. There's some trash I can find. Oh, I can't use that. That's enough of a piece of paper. All right. Oh, I see a cup. Let's go get that cup. I see a piece of paper. We can use it for, to light. Oh, it's a towel. Okay. Got a towel. All right, we got another... Looks like another towel. Yep, I got two towels. All right, we got a cup over here. Let's go grab it. Let's see what other stuff we can get out here. While well, we're out here, hey, this thing's wet. All right, got a cup. Well, I can only use it for fire. Got a hole in it. So I can't use this. I can light it. So I got uh, three items, something I can make fire with, a towel to make my wick with. I'm gonna show you how to use the wick again. A little bit better this time. All right, hey, let's take a view of the, let's walk this park. Uh, all right, I got two towels and a plastic cup so far. Let's go ahead and put these over here. <coughs> well, last time, time I look, I got a little can and a piece of plastic. All right, let's say you out in the out in the wilderness. You know, trash is everywhere. I always say that trash is everywhere on this planet. Okay, where you go, you go find some trash. Okay, I just throw this trash down here. All right. The inside of a bag. You can use that as a reflecting device. All right. Let's say there's a plane. Look up. There's a plane in the sky. So you want to come over and you take your hand. Hang on. Let me get you like that. All right. You take your hand. And you make a square and you look where the plane is or you can put a little hole in this bag open it up and you want to use that reflector see how it reflects see how it's reflecting and you can see now what you want to do when you see a plane you want to aim it where the plane is and reflect that light towards that plane this is also good to have when you go going camping. Put this in your bag. It's easy. Bring your bag of chips. So you just fold it. Fold it. It's simple. A little piece of paper you can use for survival. Item. Now this can is ruined. I can't use this can. But I can make a crawfish trap out of this if I wanted to. Now the towel. I can use that as a wick. But now I need to find a bottle. Alright, let's go find a bottle. I have one up here, but it looks like somebody picked it up from last time I was out here. Well, trash is everywhere. People leave trash everywhere. Oh, there's a... All right, look, another aluminum foil. You can cut this open, use it as a reflector. You can hang this up in a tree as a reflector to show people where you at or have, where you have gone. Um, see, I made the trash video, surviving on trash video, but everything got screwed up because my camera was on top of my head. It was on top of my head. You see this. And I want to show you how to do it. I only had one camera too. So I'm remaking my trash video. How to survive on trash. Now if I have to, I'll go get some trash out that trash bin. But I think there's plenty of trash out here. Alright, got a cup. Mm, looks like I can't use that cup. I'm going to leave it because the minute I touch it, I have to bring it in. I might bring it in when I come back out back over there 
All right, let's find out what else we got out here as a trash survival item. I see something. See, aluminum foil or whatever it is. I see it flashing right there. Let's take a look at it. Let's see what it is. See, I've seen this little bitty thing. This one little piece way over there. I can't use it. It's so small. I can't use crap. All right, let's take a walk. Look how pretty that park, this park is. Look, there's another shiny thing on that island. See that way over there, that island? Show you that you can always bring some shader chip bags with you. Because you never know you're going to use that reflector to reflect or see somebody or, or try to get somebody's attention. Because you will get somebody's attention a mile away. That's pretty far where that, that island is. Right, I see some trash over here. Let's see if we can use it. I can't use it. I can't use it. I can use it to get water if I have to. Alright, look. I got two water bottles. Let's see. It looks like they're sealed. Never been opened. People throw away stuff so much. And this one's been open. I'll pick these up when I come back. Alright. Look how pretty this park is. <clears throat> now I got a better camera system. You see better. Less shaking. See what you want to do with your crawfish trap. See that can? See how it's in the water? What you want to do is take a rope. And tie a little tab. Tie a string to it. And throw it out. Poke some holes in it. Put some bait in it. If you can find some bait sink it and you should have some crawfish with an hour if you got it put it in the right spot look water bottle i can use that for a crawfish trap or a mini trap and i can use make a hook out of the material i can find out here i can find a fish bone if i can find one and use that as a fishing hook all right what's going on let's take you take a look at the pretty park look how pretty this place is and you can take a look too look how big this place is beautiful all right <coughs> let's continue on let's see if we can find some more trash you go ahead and turn around and look at the park there we go <coughs> Some trash. Not good enough. Damn it. I remember the last time I was out here, I found some bottles and stuff over here by this little waterfall thing. So we're gonna take a look over there. How pretty that is. And it's nice and bright today. And you see everything. See how that, that tin can way out there? That that thing you see a mile away. So always bring a, a, a couple of bags of chips. Because you never know you're going to get lost. You might need that reflector. They might be looking for you. And that reflector can shine to the, to the plane. Let's see, we'll see if this is a good area for bait. Got some minnows, but they're so small. I only see crawfish in this thing. Must be polluted. <laughs> I doubt it's polluted. Oh, look, cans! Yes! Yes! A bunch of cans! I will live! Like I said, trash is everywhere. You can go to the tallest mountain in the world and you'll find trash everywhere. Well, at least I don't have to dig in a trash can for cans. Uh, glad I found some. Some idiot dropped. I know it's always the alcoholics. I, I, 
Not all alcoholism. Let me just rephrase myself because, oh, I do do that. I'm not like that. But usually, people who drink, throw the cans on the ground. I'll be back to pick these up. I want to carry them all the way through the woods and have to bring them back. All right, we'll see what else we can find. I see something reflecting right there. It must be a can. Can't use that can. It's all flat. And I'm not going to touch it because I have to ping it and bring it home. Ah. I'm scared. Crocodile's going to eat me. Always remember, if you have to get water from a, a bayou or pond or creek or bayou, check the water. You take a stick and slap it a couple of times and make sure nothing's underneath waiting for you. Because that's how most people get killed or hurt. Minute some a tapping on the water, gosh, gator got you. Or crocodile. All right, I see some more trash. Here. Take a look at the part. Don't look at me. Damn you, boy. Who is this gonna tell you? Well, let's see. A little more aluminum foil. I can use this to catch fire, but I already got one. Plenty of sticks. Uh, <coughs> take a look. However, let's see if we find at least a bottle. I need a bottle with a big opening. If not, I have to open those one of the cans and get make my wick. I'm gonna show you how to make a wick. See, this is here you go. The best pine needles you can get right here. Pine needle soup, not soup, tea. Land man, I feel sorry for you, buddy. I feel sorry for you drinking your tea. <laughs> I'm not drinking. I drank it like once when I was young. I heard about it from looking through these survival magazines and about uh, using pine needles as tea. Boil it up, drink it. Supposed to help you, whatever. I tried it once. I didn't kind of care for it. I think it did it wrong too. Back when I was a kid, and it sounded like you did it wrong too, Fred. All right. Let's see if I can find a bottle. I need a bottle, or I have to. Just... <laughs> hey, I, I'm, I'm jumping when this comes to the snake. I scream like a little bitch. <laughs> You just saw me jump like a rabbit on stew. <laughs> Whoa, Lord, I don't play around with cotton mouths. Them things are deadly. When I hear something moving, creeping around me, I'm jumping. You saw that. That was a funny way. <laughs> but I still feel sorry for you, man, Lan. Yeah. We are supposed to meet today, but you had to work. And I was going up there too. I was going to go to Fork, Turkey Fork, whatever that park you usually go to, and, and have a long day with you. Enjoying a, two Bushmen's company with one another. But I hope Donnie comes up because Donnie, I called Donnie and said, Donnie, you'll be at the uh, POW. Come on out. And it's up to him to if he wants to show. Oh, that's a, oh, shirt. Oh, I can't use that. And this trail goes all the way to the Highway 45, I think. And the other trail. <coughs> I'm not going far because I know a lot of people are not going to throw the trash way out here. But sometimes they do, and sometimes they come out here to camp. Well, I'm not going to waste my time. I don't think they're going to be... Usually people throw their trash in the areas they're camping at. And if they do go through the trail, they usually try to hide it. See, if I do trash in, in the woods, I usually bury it. I bury it for a reason, so it won't be seen. It's buried. And if it depends on what it is, if it's aluminum can, it'll be there for thousands of years. But the ground will just take it away. See, it can. Like I said, 
people throw away. If I can use it for a crawfish trap, I have to bin it out. All right, look at that view. Look how pretty that is. <coughs> All right, now I got I got four what four cans now. I can make this one definitely a crawfish trap because it got holes in it. And I got my other cans over here I'm going to pick up right now. Let's see if I can find some bottles or something. Damn it, get off of me. It's just following me. Look, it's... <laughs> oh, I bet y'all are going to laugh at me when y'all see this video me jump like 50 feet i don't play i don't play around cock miles you jump i jump i hear that i hear i heard grass i thought something's coming after me or running away from me here's your cock miles still attack unless you you know they do attack but damn it i have to carry these cans like a sardine man there you go all right, what I want to do is go get some rope and tie rope to these edge of these little uh, tabs. And see if I can catch some bait. If I can't find bait, I'll have to get some worms. If I can't get some worms, I'll have to find something to use a bait. If not, I'll just show you how to use these crawfish traps. If you're in dire need of fish, you can catch some crawfish. I don't know why I'm going to catch in this little slough here because that's where I have to put it. Look at that pond. Look how pretty that is. <laughs> Alright, we'll drop these off. I got should bring a bag. 